Uh, hi, I'm Andy, uh, head of product at Pempot, that most, almost that. Um, I'm going to very briefly talk, I promise, about Bergen sub tokens, our plans for that. Only two weeks ago, we released Pempot variants. Um, since then, we already have extremely uh, positive feedback, but like a tons of positive feedback. We also know already about teams that are migrating their design systems from other tools to Pempot because they were waiting for this very specific feature. And we also have data that shows that variants are already being used in a daily basis by a great percentage of our use base. Uh, Alvaro, by the way, you might need to update your graph. We have new data in town. <laughs> okay, variants, I, I guess most of you know how they work. You can group similar components uh, and manage them so you can switch uh, between your different versions, your different states, like for the button, things like that. So they, are, they have become something essential for today's design systems. And we also have one request from one user about one specific thing. Okay, why can I build interactions through variants, using variants? Uh, it wasn't one, we got like thousands of this already. We are drowning from requests for this. We know it, um, we get it, and we are actually building it. We are working on it, so you will get it soon. Um, I, 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 I hope for. Uh, by the way, we are really grateful for feedback like this. Uh, this uh, kind of feedback from people like this and the other thousand help us like a lot to prioritize, to understand what are the current user needs. So thank you for everyone who is contributing to the project with feedback like this. And yeah, we are working on prototyping through variants, but we have more plans to uh, improve the feature, like um, offering predefined net states, like the ones that you can actually found in websites and applications typically, so you don't have to design all of them to use the variants. And we also are exploring things. Uh, some of them are connection, direct connections between design tokens and variants. This is actually a discussion that we have internally because we have people that really don't think that is a good idea and other people that think that does, that this is part of the process. And we have more plans, more features like ways to expose it. Um, the, uh, the properties of the variants from the parent components to the uh, nested ones. So, a lot of plans. Uh, like Pablo mentioned before, we released the sign tokens uh, on April. On April, it was a great milestone for us. A great milestone for us. Um, the sign tokens are basically um, the building block, building blocks of your designs. And the cool thing is that they can be expressed in a way that can be shared across technologies, across tools, and across disciplines. This is very important. And when, when I talk about building blocks, I'm talking about things like typography, spacing, colors. We know that many people that use tokens only use colors, and that's fine. We, we don't judge, but you have many more options. Um, Pablo mentioned, mentioned before also that right now, Pempot is the only design tool that natively support design tokens uh, that are the standard, okay? And at some point on the member fest, we will have uh, some sort of announcement from Kayler, the leader of the design tokens community group, which is sort of important for us. But yeah, I don't, I don't know when, you will see. Um, the thing is that we already hit five consecutive releases with improvements and new features for design tokens. As Clara mentioned, we have this six week cycle, so this is something important. We added a lot of new tokens, we doubled the number of tokens, in fact. And we also added uh, new ways to export import tokens, but we have more in the oven. Right now, composite token is one of our main priorities. Composite token is basically a token that can hold many properties, more than one. Imagine that you could handle of your all your typography tokens, all your typography properties in only one token. Um, we intend to release this, the typography token, in a matter of weeks, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. And the next one will be the shadow token. 
We are also massively improving the user experience for tokens. We, we, we believe that tokens should be uh, wherever they are needed. And this means that these tokens should be in many contexts. This is, this is not a promotional piece. Uh, this is nothing policy. This is just a video that a colleague of mine shared last week. No, this week, actually, this week. It was Eva. Hi, Eva. How are you? And Eva told, told us, uh, hi, folks. Look what I got already. So, and see, what, look what we got already. She's playing with tokens at the color picker and at the design sidebar. And we are also adding tokens to the inspect tab. So they, these tokens are going to be able to be retrieved by the developers alongside with the rest of the code. Um, but last and not least, we are also working on synchronization on properly synchronized tokens. So we are about to add the tokens to the API, so people is going to be able to use them on, the, on their plugins. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. We are also building a system that will allow to synchronize different providers and different repositories to your tokens and to Penpot. And the thing is that we are not doing this alone. We are not doing this alone. We are doing this with the super nice people from Tokens Studio. And, and they have helped us, helped us to, 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 to make this a reality. And representing them, representing the, the, the nice people from Tokens Studio, we have here the one and only Mike that is going to come to the stage. So yeah, and applause to him.